Hello everybody, welcome to the show today. Today we're going to prepare emergency dish number nine. And uh, what that is, is it's freshly named, um, and I just prepared it last week for the first time, in an emergency situation. So uh, what we have is we have a pound of ground beef, we have a package of uh, shredded hash brown potatoes, we have a package of diced up uh, butternut squash, you can find those in the produce, some mushrooms, a couple of jalapenos there, so a couple of cups of shredded cheese, and an onion. Uh, this is a pretty big onion, so we'll probably just use about half of that. We're going to chop the onion up and cook the uh, hamburger and the mushrooms together, and we're going to combine this stuff together and make it into a casserole dish. So uh, let's get started on that. So I'm going to cut this onion up, and I hope I don't cry about it. I'm pretty sensitive to onions. And uh, I might have failed to mention the can of mushroom soup. That's also going to be handy in this dish. So I got this skillet pretty warm here. I'm going to put this hamburger meat in here and uh, brown it up as well as these onions. I got these cool little guitar spoon things. I think that's from my birthday wife. I mean my wife for my birthday. <laughs> I don't have a birthday wife. <laughs> we're gonna brown this up and then put these onions in there to cook with it. And also I'm gonna chop these mushrooms up. Put those in there with that as well. The mushroom soup, we'll mix that in with all this stuff when we get all that cooked. So I was slacking off and had to come up with something for dinner and uh, all these ingredients were in there and I just kind of thought, well, I'll throw them all together and see what happens. So it seems to work out pretty good. So let's mix that in there. Now this hamburger meat was the really lean stuff, so I probably won't have even much to drain out of there. Okay, I'm gonna throw these peppers in here as well, just because these are my last two peppers from the garden this year, and they need somewhere good to go. So they will be good to help us spice that up just a tad. All right, let's see. While that's browning up there, we'll go ahead and uh, get that fly out of the cheese. Somebody's gonna have to kill this fly. <laughs> you guys, anybody? Anybody got a gun? We need a little one of those little tiny suit salt. It's a little air gun. You can really kill a fly with it. I'm gonna put a little cheese in the bottom of this pan just because I think that's a good thing to do. And then uh, the rest of that's gonna have to wait till this is done. So we'll pause there. So here we are. This is all cooked up and browned. I did have to drain that just a little bit, um, but that's okay. I, uh, I used regular cream of mushroom soup in the first one, but today I have uh, some other mushroom bisque. So anyway, I'm gonna mix this in here. And I'm going to stir all this up together. Now we're just going to dump this into the pan here. Okay, now I'm going to say just a little more cheese, you know. Make sure you get like three layers of cheese at every bite. Dump these guys on here. Spread them out. 
You know, you could probably even put another some type of vegetable in there if you wanted, like a bag of peas, frozen peas. That would even give it more color. Now, with this, I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, pepper. This is pepper, obviously, but a little salt and pepper on this layer. Then we're going to put these hash browns on top of that. So let's add that to it. Oh man. Dry my hands. And we'll finish it off with the rest of this cheese. This sucker's ready for about 350 for about 30 minutes. Get all that melted together. We got it preheated. And it's in there, we set the timer. And come back and check on that. Oh man, that looks pretty tasty. Look at there. You come out with that. That looks pretty yum. And uh, tell you what, let's dress this sucker out today with a nice fresh farm egg. Wait, a nice farm fresh egg. I'm just gonna drain a little bit of that grease off of there. There you go. That's gonna be super awesome, I guarantee it. Emergency dish number nine. Hey, this time on Home Eats, um, we have Reckless Kelly. Cook all kinds. We all cook a bunch of different stuff. Pretty much everybody in the band uh, cooks a lot. But, uh, the other day I had I did an internet cooking show with our buddy uh, AJ Vallejo and uh, Johnny Gowdy. From a, just a YouTube channel called Cooking and Drinking with Johnny and AJ. <laughs> I cooked uh, barbecued ribs, award award winning ribs actually. But uh, do pretty much everything. Well, my mom and grandma and had some you know great cooks around. When we were kids, so we kind of grew up. Mom cans a lot of stuff, you know. It's something I'm gonna try and go up and take some lessons on, learn how to can. She cans vegetables, and all, you name it. I mean, she does her own spaghetti sauce and salsa. And so that's definitely something I want to, you know, keep going with the family and continue that tradition because it's just it's great to have that stuff on hand and it's, the, the quality is so much better than the crap you get out of a can these days. And, so we like I mean, whenever I make you know like vegetable beef soup, you know I have my mom's mom's canned vegetables in there if I can't get fresh ones, and then you know her stewed tomatoes. And, I don't know. She makes enchilada sauce, so you know it's kind of we, yeah we cook a lot of everything. You know I, I would say I don't really do much Asian stuff. We do some Thai yeah, stuff. Yeah, there. pretty good Thai soup. <clears throat> oh, Tom Ka. Yeah. It's my favorite soup, and I just like uh, every time I eat a different one, I'll try to take a little something away from it. My recipe changes every time I do it, but it's just uh, sometimes it's a little better than others. But it's always pretty good. It's like one of those soups that it's like it's a little bit different everywhere you go, and not so much as tortilla soup. I will say, tortilla soup is probably the weirdest soup in the world. I mean, it is incredibly different everywhere you go. Hey, folks, when I'm not killing flies and cooking. I like to tour with Jason Bowen. Here's our upcoming to tour dates. I'm gonna nail my feet to the ground. Too many stones are in my path, I've been tripping and falling down. So those Oklahoma City girls will find the Tulsa's quiet town. So if I ever get back to Oklahoma, I'm gonna nail my feet to the ground. Folks like me. Hey folks, you can watch this episode and many more at reddirtnation.com.